Number 16, this is attractive 1955S Roosevelt Domin M67 Plus condition. This vivid, multicolored beauty really needs to be seen to be fully appreciated. Both sides are layered in blended pink, apricot, emerald green, rose gray, and cobalt blue toning that provides absolutely outstanding eye appeal. Exceptionally well preserved for the issue, this gem was sold for $1,645. Number 15. Here is 1987p Canada of dollar in MS68 condition. Intense satin luster shines forth powerfully from both sides of this essentially pristine superb gem. According to Stax Powers, the 1987p is a common issue in an absolute sense, as are all Kennedy half dollars from the 1980s. The present example, however, is free of poor striking quality and heavily braided surfaces that are norm for mid state coins. It ended up selling for $4,800. Number 14, 1974d. Eisenhower dollar in MS67 plus condition. Grade assigned by PCGS was proven by CHC. This golden tinged beauty is exceptionally well preserved for a circulation strike Eisenhower dollar, a true gem from a mintage of 45,517,000 pieces. It was sold for $5,520. Number 13, here is 1932D Lincoln Cent in MS67 red condition. The Philadelphia and Denver Cents of 1932 and 1933 have long been known as condition rarities. Though, as David Lang notes in his complete guide to Lincoln Cents, 1932D has emerged with a slight edge in this respect. This piece is immensely lustrous and crisply detailed, with even red color over each side. Excellent preservation with eye appeal to match. It was sold for $12,650. Number 12. This is 1930s wheat penny in MS67 red condition. According to Heritage, the surfaces on this radiant tangerine orange example are boldly struck, incredibly frosty, and almost devoid of any trace of carbon. Only under close scrutiny do a few inconsequential signs of contact come into view. The 1930s is not particularly scarce issue in lesser grades of mint state, but superb gem red pieces are understandably rare. It was sold for $13,200. Number 11, this is 1937 Washington Quarter in MS65 condition with double dye obverse. One of the major Washington Quarter varieties, heavy dye doubling is evident on the motto and date of this important guidebook variety, which is rare in mint state. This piece is brilliant and satiny with vibrant mint luster. A loop is required to see the few microscopic surface grazes that prevent an even finer grade from PCGS. It was sold for $14,400. Number 10, this is 1901 O Morgan Silver Dollar in MS67 condition. A simply outstanding gem Morgan Dollar from every standpoint. The luster is bold with lively cartwheel activity, the strike is sharp for the date and essentially complete, and the satiny surfaces approach pristine quality from the first glance to the last. It was sold for $19,975. Number 9, 1976S Washington Quarter in MS69 condition. This silver bicentennial quarter displays exquisite preservation. The subtlest hints of champagne patina are seen over the obverse, while the reverse is essentially untoned. Though the net mintage for the 1976S silver clad business strike is speculative, its rarity in MS69 is undeniable. It ended up selling for $19,200. Number 8. This is 1936 Type 1 Lincoln Cent with double diverse, arguably the most famous of the several prominent double diverse varieties for the 1936 cent. Distinguished by a bold north-south spread on the letters of trust, but prominently doubled on all peripheral lettering and the date. 
The present premium gem is a great representative of this guidebook listed variant, freshly lustrous with unturned copper gold surfaces and only a handful of trifling flaws. It was sold for $16,100. Number 7 here is 1937 Washington Quarter in PR68 condition. The 1937 proof Washington Quarter boasts a mintage of just 5,542 pieces, the smallest proof output of any denomination that year. The Washington design was relatively new in 1937, but the motifs were not perceived as attractive or artistic, and the demand for single proof examples was quite small. The great majority of the coins were sold as part of complete proof sets. The date enjoys much greater popularity with the present day collectors. The present coin is a magnificent PR68 example with deeply mirrored surfaces and razor sharp definition on all design elements. Attractive traces of aquamarine toning add to the stunning eye appeal on both sides. It was sold for $17,825. Number 6, this is 1930 Lincoln Scent in MS67 red condition. The surfaces on this piece are virtually perfect with rich and deep orange mint luster and excellent design details. Just few bag marks prevent this gem from even finer grade. It ended up selling for $21,850. Number 5, 2000 piece Cheerios Sacagawea dollar, a famous modern rarity in MS68 condition. The rare so called Cheerios variety made from a prototype reverse up with fine detail on the eagle's tail feathers. The regular issue Sacagawea dollar has smooth tail feathers. All known examples of this variety have come from Cheerios cereal box, which helped in US Mint promote the new Sacagawea mini dollar. Only 1 in 100 of the boxes contain a dollar coin and Many of those have since been lost or spent. This gem was sold for $23,000. Number 4. 1976S Eisenhower dollar in PR70 deep cameo condition. The bicentennial Eisenhower dollars were coined in 1975 and 1976. All dual dated 1776-1976. Examples were issued in silver clad and nickel clad. The nickel clad pieces struck in 1975 had the type 1 reverse with thick letters, while the others struck in 1976 had the type 2 reverse with thin letters. Proof set mintage shows that a little under 3 million of the type 1 coins were minted in 1975, and just over 4 million type 2 coins were struck in 1976. This perfect proof has flawless nickel gray surfaces with lustrous devices and deeply mirrored fields. It was sold for $25,300. Number 3. This is 1939 Jefferson with reverse of 1940. The reverse of 1940 Jefferson nickels dated 1939 are noted for their strong straight steps, so usually they are not this strong and straight. For that matter, the preservation on this example is unprecedented, according to Heritage. Captivating colors among them ice blue, violet, peach and gold enrich softly lustrous surfaces that exhibit a degree of dye flow near the rims. While a collector looking for marks under a glass will find them, only a couple of tiny reverse disturbances are visible to the unaided eye. It was sold for $23,500. Number 2, 1968 Roosevelt Dime was missing S mint mark, one of the finest in the non cameo designations, and what a pretty gem that is virtually perfect in every way. There is nothing to be found anywhere with a strong glass, it is a major modern rarity. The 1968 Noah's proof dime is one of the rarest modern mint issues. The 1968 saw the first year proofs struck at the San Francisco mint and were limited but unknown number of proof dimes made it into sets without S mint mark. It was sold for $29,375. Number 1. This is elusive 1916 red Lincoln scent in PR67 condition. The 1916 mud proof Lincoln is the lowest mintage of entire early proof series 
at 600 coins along with its siblings, a mud-proof buffalo nickel, according to research presented in Kevin Lean's Lincoln Scent Mud Proofs. This highly sought after piece displays excellent satin texture with slight dipping to pitch in center reverse from pale copper gold. The surfaces are sharply struck throughout and show minimal carbon and few other disturbances. It was sold for $34,500. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more exciting videos on rare coin guides and valuable insights. Happy hunting!